Welcome, Casteds, um, to yet another unboxing of uh, DNA collectibles all the way from Switzerland. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful Friday because uh, we love unboxings on Friday. That means we have the whole weekend to enjoy our toys. And since we love you guys so much because you are our favorite Casteds, we've decided to unbox these with you guys like we did last time. Now, if you had missed last time, we got this from DNA, which is this beautiful Volvo. Uh, we had it on display at Calipti and today again we have no idea what to expect from uh, from DNA so let's get cracking and check out where we can uh, get the first box open here we go uh, oh, yes there we go truly a sight of beauty let's take it all off yes yes Everybody loves good unboxing violence. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have absolutely no idea which one this is. As you can see, it comes in its uh, cleaning bag, and lo and behold, it's the Subaru Leon 1800cc Turbo. Look at that. <laughs> Can't wait to unpull this out. Here we go. Slide that open. Slide that apart. And pull this. These babies have just come off the production line. I mean, like a few days before they sent it to us. And look at that. Wow. This so was a big car in, in the 1980s, one of Subaru's first all-wheel drive station wagons. There you go. Let's take this baby off. And as always, what you can expect with DNA collectibles, detail is absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can see all the way inside there. Let's get a bit of focus. There we go. Gear levers, handbrakes, air vents, everything's just detailed. Oh wow. I just love this baby blue. The close up. <laughs> they even got the center wheel nut lock like you used to have in the 80s. Remember those? You could modify them. You can pick them up from Panchigawatta and put them on your vans. Oh, truly beautiful 143. Hood rack. Hood rack seems quite secure. Uh, the uh, side mirrors also seem fairly rigid and well put on they've even got the blinkers i think it is the blinkers on the side mirrors as well there you can see really nice piece this is yeah it's fully funky if you take a closer look you can see the inside of the headlights It's not like they've taken a single piece of plastic and put it in. It's properly well defined. It looks like they've taken a rail headlight and shrunk it and put it in. As you can see the depth. There you go. Tire treads. The subtle 4x4 turbo branding. Petrol cap. Oh, this is truly a beautiful piece. can even see the four wheel drive on the there you go on the uh, <laughs> mud guards that is absolutely perfect so there you go ladies and gentlemen the Subaru Leon 1800 turbo from DNA yet another gorgeous gorgeous piece and uh, let's move on to the next one uh, 
I have a strong feeling this is going to be another station wagon from their 143 range. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the... Well, let's just open it on and see. Now, why be mistaken about anything when we when we have it right here? Right here, in our hands, in the in the Castes Magazine studio. On a beautiful Friday afternoon. Obviously, we're not going to do anything except look at these cars over the weekend. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, is the Audi 200 Avant 20V. Another four-wheel drive baby station wagon and these station wagons I have to say were were a class of their own when they came out in the 80s and 90s um, these are not just the soccer mom vans or the cricket mom man, uh, vehicles these were proper driver loving driving loving 4x4 station wagons the sort of things that the dads had fun in oh look at that that is a beautiful color Ooh. let's take this Fending strip off. Oh wow, Lance. I'm actually speechless, really. Simply because that the color. And again, another thing I love about the DNA models is the paint jobs. We're talking serious, serious paint jobs here. And I think that's what's now getting into, uh, is, is, is what's expected of a lot of model makers as well, because you see a lot of brands really concentrating on the after, after, after finish of their, their paint jobs. Okay, so we'll just take this out because I think we're getting too much reflection. It's so beautiful. There we go, let's get a better look at that rear. You know, most of you are like good behind. This is easy Sunday rider stuff here. And once again, you know, there's no mucking about with the sort of the headlights. Proper definition. This color though, oh, it's, I don't know, what do you, what would you say it is? It's an aqua green or? Lance, what do you think? I think uh, that's a very uh, deep turquoise. That's actually a really nice metallic paint. It, it looks, you get the like specks of uh, metallic that you do find in the actual vehicle. It really does look like 2K paint. Sun shining off it. I love what they've done with the windows also. I mean, I've never, never seen uh, heater heater strips except on DNA models. And no, for some reason, they get the plastic looking like actual glass as opposed to everybody else who's got, you can tell it's plastic. Um, I don't know. You can even see if you can look closely inside the, the wood trim. There you go. Can we zoom in there? We can. Oh wow. So yeah, you're looking at something. I mean, it's, it's like detail that's not even available to the naked eye. Yeah, how's the, how's the top and the... How's the top and the bottom? Fair, fair, fairly, fairly sturdy, of course. Um, you've been cleaning this, you're going to have to watch out for this antenna because this antenna looks like it's the sort of thing that's going to snap off very, very easily. Again, the side mirrors. I'm really, really impressed with the side mirrors because as a person who destroys many side mirrors, um, having something that, uh, that has this third, you know, 148 is really, really impressive. However, they do have other things like this antenna and all that that's kind of really super delicate. But other than that, 
ladies and gentlemen, this is. I think this is one of DNA's finest. So let's put them all down here. Push them together. And then we can take maybe a closer look at them in their entirety. Uh, we'll be doing another pop-up display at Collectique very soon where we can display all three models and uh, hopefully we'll have some interesting news for you then as well. And I think DNA actually has managed to catch the real true scale of the cars themselves. So which is like really fantastic. I love it. I, um, I mean for the price and uh, the sort of quality and standard that you're looking at here I think we're looking at, uh, at, a, at a winning brand, to be very honest. Yeah, move our expensive equipment out of the way for you to get a closer look. That's it from me and Lance right here at uh, Casted Studio. Uh, a big, big, massive, 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 massive shout out to DNA Collectibles for being extremely kind and extremely gracious to send us these gorgeous pieces so that we can get them to you. Um, I think uh, next week Collectique is having some uh, interesting and major sort of event. So maybe we will have these on display at that event. Mm -hmm.